reach back and I'm gonna grab it. What is up guys? Crick Diggers coming to you Sunday afternoon back out here at the Haunted Dump. Me, my buddy Zach, and uh, way up there on the hill working up by his truck is Chris. I don't even know if I can get him in the picture. There he is somewhere up in there hiding. But we are back out here. Corey has a son today so he's not going to be able to make it out. But let me show you exactly what's going on. Well, check this out. You can see where I had tunneled when it was frozen has now pretty much collapsed, cracked way up in there. Over there where Corey was tunneling has collapsed. We knew it was going to happen. We were planning on it to happen. So what me and Zach's going to do today is just, we have this whole bowl area right here. It's still undug. We're going to remove the dirt off the top and work our way back to the wall I left off at and see what good things we can find. Chris has been here digging for a while now today maybe about an hour and uh check this sweet plate that he pulled out guys some kind of real fancy library washington is what i read at the bottom congressional library washington yeah that's cool man real fancy definitely want to see that some better when he gets letters. it cleaned up but that's a neat little plate there's a lot of really cool brass and copper items in this dump for sure Heck yeah, man. Nice find. But all right, guys, we are going to get started on it. We got about four and a half hours of light. Should be a great day. Let's Check this it. out, guys. Hold it down out of the sun for a minute. What in the world did Zach just pull out of the hole? That's an incredible looking uh, picture. Let me see it. It's got a little baby or a cherub on it. I got to get where I can get a good angle on this. Here we go. Yeah, check that out. It's got like a, a woman on, holding something over her head, a basket or something. It's got the little handle on it. Real nice iridescent rainbow patina. Good golly, Zach. That is freaking gorgeous, man. Heck yeah. That's so sweet. Dude, that's bad. Awesome, awesome. That, that is sweet, man. Great find. All right, guys. And you can see all we're doing is just pulling the walls down that collapsed right now. Awesome. I think it's going to be an outstanding day. See you back. Guys, I'm just knocking the shelf down. Knocking it down. Working right up next to this tree. And, uh... The last video that we just posted, you guys seen that master perfumer that Corey dug, the Ross Black? Check out this sweet little jar just popped out. It says Black's Massage Cream. Very, very cool. And I thought, dang, I wonder if that's related. So I flipped it over and check it out. Ross W. Black Manufacturer, Pittsburgh, PA. So same, same company. Probably a really, pretty rare uh, jar, I'd say. Looks to be a uh, machine-made screw top right around 1930s, maybe late 20s. But that's cool. We're just going to keep working at it, guys. See you back. What's up, guys? Back here in the hole, me and Zach still cleaning the walls down, as you can see. And there's a nice little pocket right here, about where I left off. And I just popped up what looks to be a massive Bromo Seltzer. So let's check that bad boy out. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Big old Bromo Seltzer. Look at the size on that dog. It's got some little bit of issues, but not too bad. We'll hang on to that, but I'm just going to do some live digging right here in this area. 
seems to be a lot of glass coming up. There's another bottle right there. There's a White House vinegar jar, live action. Hopefully we can find the seal to it. A lot of glass right here. You can see how the ash turns to like a grayish white color. That seems to be a really good layer. Me and Zach are just taking turns, poking around in it. The bank is a little unstable back to where it cracked. So we had to keep dealing with these little collapses, but it ain't very much left. You can see it's only maybe three feet left to collapse. Here's a little druggist right here sticking out, slick druggist. Here's a little bottle sticking out under here, under the tree. Broken little extract. Here comes this down. See if it brought anything with it. There's a bottle sticking out there. A little castoria. Broken black cat. Little tiny face cream jar. Little pickle, pickle jar. You can see there's some kind of a uh, cast iron pot or pan. But just working into the side of this wall. It's going to get really, really good for us. You can see bottles just everywhere. It's a nice handled pitcher it would have been. That thing's all rusted out. So we're just going to clean all this mess out and just keep working at it, guys. See back. Guys, still just bringing the collapse down slowly. And I uh, just pulled out this square right here. I thought it was just another slick, but it's not. Check this out right here. Can you see it real good on the camera? No, the sun's in the way. It is. How about over here? Yeah. Check this out, guys. Oh my gosh. Dr. J. Kaufman's Angeline and Joseph Shoemaker and Company out of Hamilton, Ohio. Blown in mold. Some kind of awesome medicine. Look at that. That's incredible. Yes, sir. And then, I don't know if it's full yet, but up above it right here, I believe is a 1915 Coca-Cola guy. So let's come up here and check this out right here. Oh, it's broken. Never mind. There's a lot of 1915 Cokes in here. Look at that thing right there all melted up. There's a little small pocket, so let's just stay live for one second, and then I'm gonna let Zach take over. See what else is in this pocket. That medicine's incredible right there, though. I'm real happy with that. Some awesome stuff coming out, real ornate, fancy. You've seen some of the real pretty oriental pieces that come out of here so you never know what's going to come out next we're just working our way real slow as to not break anything and not miss anything there's a bottle right there i just scooped out just a slick little medicine bottle and that's usually what comes out by the hundreds but every once in a while you pull out a diamond in the rough like that Dr. Kaufman's Angeline. I ain't never seen such a thing, guys. Yeah, see you back. Guys, I was down there showing Chris that druggist out his duck. And check out what Zach just popped out of the hole. A uh, piece of a shotgun. Still has the trigger on it and everything. The guard and the piece where it breaks down. Right there. It would have broke open. You just slid the bullet in there. It's pretty cool. Yes, sir. Probably a guy around your age would have probably used something like that back yeah. in the day. Or or like a kid. It might have been a kid's gun. That's yeah, awesome, so. man. Great find. We're just going to keep working at it, guys. 
Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, Zach's turned down in the hole, and he just pulled a soda bottle out. Check this out. Ouch. Let me hold it for a second. Out of the light here. Got an Emerline. Emerline Products Company out of Johnstown, PA. Nice soda bottle there. It is bright, bright today. The sun is shining bright. That is a machine-made crown top right around 1910, 1915 era. And uh, we're just going to record Zach live here for a second. Let's see if he can pull anything else out. Cool. He's in a real nice pocket. You can see working down in here. A little condiment jar or something sticking out. Little Chessie Bros. Yep, Chessie Bros yep. Vaseline. I just heard some glass. Yep. Go in there with your hands. Get it. Let's see what we got. Can you feel it? Oh. Oh, what is it? It's a broken little condiment jar. Yep. All right, stay live for just one more second, guys. Hopefully he can pull something crazy out. There's been about five or six broken 1915 hobble skirt Cokes come out from Cumberland, all ice blue. You can see we're almost to where the, the uh, collapse happened, only like maybe a foot away now, so. It's gonna be a great day. Another little condiment jar. Nice little pocket here. All right, guys, we're gonna keep working at it. We will see you back if anything else comes out. But that's a nice soda. See you. Yeah, as soon as I put the camera away, Zach thought he had a musket ball since I dug that three ringer, but check it out. Big old clay marble shooter. Heck yeah, good eye, fella. Nice. See you back. All right, guys, down here in Chris's hole, he called me down. He has something real nice embossed right there. I think it might be a Virginia Dare Garrett wine, but let's see. There she is. Yes, sir, it is good. That's exactly yeah. what it is. A big, giant Virginia Dare Garrett wine. Pretty. Real nice embossing on that one, too, brother. Yes, Heck yeah, brother. All right, guys, see you back. Zach just popped out a master ink, guys. Check that out. It is busted up, but, yep, that's a Sanford's. Or a Stafford's. Stafford's master ink. What's it say on the base? Anything? Yeah. Oh, it's a Carter's. Yeah, Carter's. Oh, you turdo. <laughs> Carter's Master Ink. Heck yeah, and he's got what he said is an embossed med up here in the sidewall. Oh, it's broke. Oh, it looks like just a Castoria, though. What was it? Yeah, just yeah, a classic yeah. Castoria. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and pick around that dark stuff for a minute. Let's see if anything else is going to show itself real quick. Real soft digging right now, guys. Everything's nice and thawed out. So we're moving a lot of ground quick. We're already back to where the collapse originally had started cracking. And uh, now we're just gonna work it down to the bottom and then back inside, melt it up stuff. Broken stuff. Little collapses are gonna happen here and there because it is really soft today. But we're just gonna keep working at it, guys. See back. All right, guys, Chris just left. Me and Zach are just working side by side on this trench. Just took this middle section out. 
and I almost hit it with the shovel. Look at that. Pretty sure I got a bitters in the hole, guys. I ain't looked at it yet. I don't know what it is, but let's get it together. Yeah, the, oh, the top does have a ding on it. What was it? Just the lashes. Oh, no, it don't. It don't have no ding on it. Look at that. <laughs> it's got the cork in it still. Nice. Heck yeah. Lashes bittered, baby, in the hole. That thing looks to be in real good shape. Check that out, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Woo! See you back. Guys, Zach in the hole. He thinks he has a Coca-Cola bottle in the hole. Let's go under here and check it out. Where's it at, buddy? Right there. I think you're right. Right there it is. Dude, get uh, over here below me. Uh -huh. There's a long-handled, small little rake thing. Get that so you don't have to get up under there. And then right above it, Right there, guys. He's got another bottle. We probably didn't even see. Only uh, like I see this one. No, it's a long handle one. It's right down bottom of the hill, right there. Where that other? You see that other handle sticking up? Yeah, I think that's a good roller. We'll see you right back, guys, when we're ready for this. Guys, we're still messing along, and Zach, check it out, just pulled out a nice cylinder. Clear lashes bitters. Heck yeah, two lashes bitters on the day. Heck yeah. See you back, guys. Guys, we're just finishing up the day, working under this ledge, waiting on it to fall, and check it out. We just rolled out. A beautiful green, emerald green, Larkin Company from Buffalo. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful bottle. Sweet. See that? All right, guys, that is going to conclude our evening. Zach's just picking around up high trying to pull something i'm gonna go ahead and walk down here to our bottles that we got today and do a quick little rundown for you we'll just go ahead and start at this end i guess we got a larger size bromo seltzer a cool little shaving mug little tiny gold inlay cement bottle sweet little milk glass insert piece of a baby doll head a couple bromos that little, uh, this thing right here that Zach dug earlier, very first thing out of the hole, pretty much. That thing is very, very cool. You can see it's like mirrorized almost. Very neat. And then a big old clay shooter marble. Got that really neat Dr. J. Kaufman's Angeline. From the Joseph Shoemaker and Company out of Hamilton, Ohio. White House seal. Big old Scott's Emulsion. White House Vinegar Jar. Emerline Products. Dr. S.B. Golf's Herb Bitters. Carpenter Bottling Works. We got a Amber Lashes Bitters. And a Clear Lashes Bitters. Gorgeous Emerald Green Lark and Company beautiful chocolate amber poison bottle sweet little blacks massage cream another shooter marble inside there a little penslar perfume beautiful ice blue <clears throat> medicine bottle a vervac bottling works a little shaker bottle over there carter's master ink atlas strong shoulder mason jar just an absolutely incredible day of digging it has been. We're getting out of here with both of us full buckets. And uh, thanks for coming out, Zach, bud. Did you have yeah. fun? Yeah, I had a lot of fun out here. You're going to see Zach digging with us a good bit this summer once he gets out of school. But, yeah, 
that's going to do it guys hopefully we're going to be getting into a privy tomorrow first privy of the year we've been trying and trying to get the gang together to to dig on the same day and somebody's always got something to do so hopefully tomorrow is going to be the day but we're going to get out of here see you tomorrow guys guys check it out this is our first privy of the year we finally got a nice day and we got the group together this is uh one of chris's permissions that he scored here local to us and we've already probed it out it seems to be a pretty decent sized stone line privy doesn't seem you know very deep but it does feel like it has a decent bit of glass in it you can see the fellas pulling the plugs out right now just rolling them up nice so after we fill this at the end of the dig it won't even look like we were here but so we got one tarp laid out just for the plugs and then we're gonna lay another one out and uh start digging little glass bead popped out while they were pulling the plugs don't know the age on that but pretty cool find we're just gonna get popping on it guys i think it's gonna be a really good day let's get it guys we got a bottle in the hole i am walking around metal detecting the uh spoils piles just popped out that weird piece of brass not quite yet Corey wells and then broken wax sealers coming out and Corey's got the first bottle in the hole. First bottle of the year in the privy. Sperm sand machine oil. I'd say so. Yeah, no, yeah. that's an early singer. A singer? Mm-hmm. Nice early one. Singer sewing machine oil. Heck yeah. What? Nah. Did that come out too? Yeah. Good sign. Yeah, there's definitely some glass coming out, guys, already. We're about two foot mark we haven't even busted through the clay cap yet also big shout out even though Corey ain't got his on yet to uh yeah yeah i need to put them steve on. bradford brother check it out thanks for the gloves man cut proof gloves yeah here they are here's wildland's pair he's putting on now really appreciate that steve and april yeah definitely big shout out to the bradfords we got that package this morning yeah real nice cut proof resistant gloves sweet all right we're gonna keep working at it guys hopefully some good stuff's gonna come out let's stay live for a second yeah there's let's some, there's some debris second. up against the wall over here that i'm i can't really see in the camera but it usually turns out good on the the video. Coming up down there be real careful over against this wall get right up there yeah, some nice grass. Lime coming out, you guys can see. I think it's gonna be some good stuff in here. Yeah, nice lime laid. Oh, look at more more of that crop. Here's some early tin lantern glass. We heard the bottle. Piece of crock. Piece of crock. Oh man. Let's see if I can block the sun a little bit from you guys. So you see better. That is a rock. No, that's, that's wall. Rock. That might be wall. Might be. I think that's probably the corner. Looks like nice river stone stacked up. We don't think it's super deep, but I mean, it did have a clay cap, climb under it. We'll see you right back, guys. <laughs> I'm talking. A millisecond, guys, after I turned the camera on. Corey yeah. just threw a blob out. Woo, Check that buddy. out. Here it goes. Local? No. Baltimore Standard Brewing. It's cool. Standard Brewing Blob. That's 80s all day long. I think I might end up my first Slide blob top. Today. Yeah, you might. The 80s Standard Brewing Blob right off the bat. Yeah, it says, yeah. uh... <clears throat> Brewing company, bodily bottling deposit or depot. Heck yeah, guys! 1880s, right off the bat, under the lime layer. That's sweet. Let's keep let's keep stay live now. I ain't turn the camera off again until it's my turn anyway. Heck yeah! We are at the bottles. Ooh. Maybe. And hopefully crockery. 
the clay cap down there. Yeah. Not real thick either. Just a small clay cap they put in. And they did that to keep the smell and the rodents and stuff like that out of it, really. Bottle. Bottle just came out. You guys seen it live? It's embossed. It's oh, a drug. Oh, right? man. Ready? Yes. Oh, it is. It's Cumberland. Yeah. Oh, man, a big one. The big, big W.E. Turner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, brother. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Woo. Big W.E. E. Turner, oh. brother. <laughs> yeah, yes, guys. Sir. Check it out. I think I did a good job. You guys seen yeah, that come out live person, too, man. live action right there. Yeah, Let's get okay, one more. Guys. One more? Yeah, let's get one more. Alright. That was up against the wall. Maybe. Maybe a little bit more too, whatever there. See another one live here. Don't seem like they put as many rocks on this side as the other one. The other side's loaded up with rocks. Big old piles of lime coming out. Heck yeah. Way better than the last one. This is all empty trash. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a nice this is a nice one, man. They it doesn't look like it's been dipped. That big rock down there. If it was dipped, it wasn't it wasn't for a long time. You can see lantern, old lantern dome pieces and stuff, guys. Brick. Old pieces of brick. I think that's what I'm getting into over here, brick. Rock. Yeah, you're running into that rock layer now. It looks like you has some rocks to contend with. Seeing nothing else happening just yet, guys. So we will see you back on the next. Right, Chris has turned down the hole, and we're just really lightly pulling back the clay cap. You can see the lime revealing underneath of it, and that's where the bottles are laying, right in and under that lime layer. This is Chris's turn. Hopefully, he gets into some good stuff. He has not pulled a bottle out of a privy ever in his life. So, ready, just be real careful, that fella. Line, buddy, it man. could be anywhere in there. Yeah, look at that thick lime layer, guys. That's what I'm talking about. That lets you know that they were definitely using this privy for a while. Nothing in the lime more. No, there could be marbles and stuff. I did bring the metal detector to knock this out, laying by the hole. We are hitting the dirt clods every once in a while. So far, just that weird piece of brass has came out. Nothing else. No coins or nothing. Man, that lime. Oh, that lime's thick, fella. Yes, it is. It's nice looking, too. There's definitely going to be bottles in there. Dang, look how thick that lime is, guys. We're talking like at least a half a foot so far. Thick old lime layer, Corey. Yeah, it's at least a half a foot of lime. It's looking nice. I think that rock was thrown in there, Chris. It's gonna have to come out. Yeah, that one. Just be careful. Oh, it wasn't real big at all. Potato rut, potato stones. Yeah, there's a really thick lime layer under something. there. Yep, there is something right there. Looks like it's just a lantern down, bro. Yeah, it's all Careful when they're yeah. they'll cut the yeah, right they're they're sharp, like razor blades. Yes, really, really fast. Yeah, piece of the chimney. Heck yeah, that's early. That's the 70s, 80s for sure. I think we're going to get into some good stuff. Bring that raw. Get some take it out. There's the bottom of a blob. Or a mason jar, maybe. Oh, it's thick. Down heavy, here, heavy. What you were probing in was straight climb, buddy. I think it might be a little deeper than what we originally thought. 
that much lime. Yeah. With that much lime? Oh, it's thick lime. Look at that. <laughs> that. That excites me seeing all that lime down there. Good Man, it's tough God. to get through. It's rock solid. Just be careful. Just be careful. Make sure I you ain't crying on nothing. Yeah. I know. Yeah, they have. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the lime. It's a little soft on this side. More lime than dirt right there now at this point. Better than rocks for sure. Better than rocks for sure. So this is normally what you encounter guys when you're digging a privy. You got your fill. Yeah, one that hasn't been dipped anyway. You got your fill. Then you got a little bit of like clay cap usually and then right under that you run into lime. And then right under that usually is a sweet, sweet bottle layer. And you seen Corey pull that drug, it's that came off the wall. The reason for that is, you know, when they were using this as a privy, it was more or less like a soupy kind of mud stuff. So when they drop their bottles and stuff out of their pockets, it wouldn't initially sink to the bottom. It would stay kind of suspended or floating. And then as they used the privy more, it would push the stuff to the outside of the walls. And then as it turned to dirt and fertile soil, that's where they stayed, right? On the smashed up on the sides of the walls. Now there should be some at the bottom too, you know, that they used when they were first made the privy. That's what we're looking for is the earliest stuff down there. And we're hoping, we're hoping for at least a 70s, possibly 60s stone liner. See old bricks and stuff coming up, that's a great sign. Bricks do not form underground, so if you're digging bricks, Hello. guys, if you're digging bricks under the ground, you know that they were put there. There's something there, Trent. Oh, man, look how thick that lime yeah. is. It's Golly, I think right. I'm clear up against the wall right That's here. Incredible. Yeah, I'm right against the wall in this corner. Yes, sir. I love it. Me too, buddy. I'm so excited. Stuff cool. <laughs> All right, well, you can see, guys, what we're doing. We're just yeah. we're just going to keep working the chunks back, working the layers back until we encounter some glass. Uh, so we'll see you back as soon as we get to the bottle. Guys, check it out right under that lime cap chris has got a uh crock in the hole we don't know if it's full or nothing yet but there it is he's working right on it i'm trying to get under his big head keeps leaning down sorry. further and further sorry buddy <laughs> careful it's moving oh, oh i thought it was man. broke out no, the wax sealer. shoot yeah little wax yeah. sealer yeah, gum it. Just had too many, too much pressure on it down there. And there's bricks and stuff and rocks they threw in. So the majority of the stuff is broken, unfortunately. That's that's the life of a privy digger. But let's stay live for a minute and see if anything else is chilling. Usually, when you get to one, there's there's another one right close to it. Because what would happen is the housemaid usually was in charge of throwing the stuff out, you know, cleaning up after the kids and all that stuff. So they would fill up chamber pots with these trash in it and go out to carry them out to the privy and throw them away. So it was usually, you know, a few at a time anyway. Bottle in the hole! Amber! Hair haze? Is it a haze? Parker's. Parker's, nice! Parker's hair balsam. Check that out. Yes, sir. Heck yeah, Chris's first bottle out of Privy official. He's officially a Privy digger now, guys. Yeah. Heck yeah, that's awesome, brother. I'm gonna clean this out, let you get it. Sweet. Parker's hair balsam. 
We've got, that's the number six, five or six out of the hole so far. Nice yeah, it's a pretty one. 1880s, 1890s. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a nice bottle right there. Heck yeah, guys. Oops, I don't know how I just did that. We'll see back. It's time. Trav has a bottle in the hole. Come on down in here. You want me in there? Yeah, get out of sunlight. See that bad boy? Right there under the under the clay cap, guys. Right at the start of the line. Yeah. Bottle in the hole. Might be a little sample whiskey. It's held up by something in there. Maybe a rock behind it or something. It is. A oh, there's whiskey. a little tiny sample whiskey. Oh my Man. goodness! Check that out, guys. It's a Klein's Silver Age Allegheny PA. Wow. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. That's Klein's cool. Silver Age, guys. Looks like it still has a little bit of Silver Age in that bad boy. That is nice. That's a plied top, too. That's 1880s. So it's got the little horseshoe thing on the back of it right there. That's a cool little sample. Yeah. All right. See you back. <laughs> All right, guys. Privy. First privy of the year is done. It was a, about a five-foot wood liner. About average around here. Tons and tons of clay. And uh, so here's the tape right here got a blob standard brewing got a really nice druggist we turner out of cumberland got a parker's parker's hair balsam nice uh you can see the iridescence starting to happen on that from the mineralization process. Got a slick extract bottle. The only one I pulled today. Pretty cool though. Nice sample whiskey bottle. It says Klein's Silver Age Allegheny PA. Very, very neat little bottle. And then a little Singer sewing machine oil, about four or five broken uh, wax seal crocs, a couple mason jars broken. You can see some lantern dome chimneys, piece of a broken Lydia pink one. Ended up being right around 1890s on this one. Was only used for about 10 years, as you can see. So there should be at least two more on this property. See where the sidewalk's kind of sinking right there? That could possibly be one right in line. We already probed one out on the corner that was probably a uh, community privy working on getting permission on, but we'll have to do some concrete work if we get into that one. It's underneath the road a little bit. But this one is done. Chris is just playing in his first privy ever. And we're gonna fill it, do our picks. And on to the next. See us. Guys, for some reason, a lot of people ask us if we fill our holes in after we're done digging them. Now, keep in mind, we're in somebody's backyard, so obviously we're filling our holes in, but I just wanted to show you how we do it. So, the hole's filled in. Right now, they're just leveling it back off, cleaning the grass off. You can see we got the tarps rolled up, laid out, and then there's the clods that we're going to put on at the end. But you can see we cleaned the grass up real nice. We're going to get a rake out and even clean up just a little tiny bit of darker spots. Yes, the rain will wash it away, but it still looks crappo when you leave somebody's yard and leave dirt all in the grass. So we try not to even leave dirt in the grass. Unless they're like remodeling the house and say that it's okay to. This man did say that he don't mind on it, please. And, you know, doing it this way, hopefully the, the people next to him are going to also allow us to dig their properties. We can just keep going in line. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill this one in. 
We're gonna see if maybe we can get another permission real quick. Maybe go out to the dump for a couple hours. I ain't sure, but just wanted to show you how we did this. And then I'll show you the, the final final before we roll up out of here. All right, guys. See ya. All right, guys, there she is. All filled in. Privy number one, done. We still do have quite a few more on this permission probably, but we're gonna try to get this one over here on the corner. He's gonna call and ask the guy right now. If we can, we're gonna dig it. If we can't, we're gonna go out to the dump and uh, spend the remainder of the evening out there. But it was a fun day. We all, we all got a decent pick today. We'll see you back, whatever we decide to do. Guys, we got it. We got the permission to dig this dog a dog. Now, Corey's already laid the walls out, you can see. <clears throat> and we got lucky, look. The road is here. The wall is here, maybe a foot and a half. And, and you can see there's a sidewalk. There's a little tiny section of grass here. And then, of course, it goes into the parking area. And we got a privy. We got a nice stone line privy. It's not super, super big, but it does seem like it's fairly deep. And we've still got a good four and a half hours of light. So we're going to get it. Privy number two. Let's get it. All right, guys, the second privy was a bust, not even one bottle in it. So we filled it, and now we're back out here at the dump, spending the rest of the evening. And uh, Corey's got a massive. You ready for it? Yeah, massive jar in the hole or bottle. Yeah. Look at that I big dog. Know what they are. One of them things. Is it machine made? Yeah. Big machine made. Sure. We think they're fruit jars. You can see it has some kind of a really cool monogram on it. Looks like CB Company or BC Company, maybe. I don't know. You guys let us know, but that's we find them broken all the time. It's the first full one, I think. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep working at it. About two hours of light. See all right, that? so finally got a few things coming out here. I got a, a uh, some kind of Ohio beer I haven't dug before. Just a regular Pittsburgh brewing blown in mold and i got this uh soda bottle i've never dug before it says blue blue rock bottling works and then it says feral pa nice soda i haven't dug that one before i don't know where feral is even at and then uh nice little dose cat all right get back to you guys we're down here digging at the dump maybe about an hour a little over an hour left of light. It's not armor? No, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a beer, but it's got like rounded off edges, as you can see. It's not perfectly round. You call an armor kind of thing. I'm going to hand the thing to Corey. I don't think, man. I ain't never seen them shaped like that. I don't know what it could be. I don't either. not wanting to come out. Oh, oh there it's ready. Is that embossed? Come on, be embossed. Oh, that's a cool looking bottle. I had oh, yeah. the glove hanging over the screen on some of you that. Did. <laughs> It's a machine made weird little tonic bottle or yeah, something. Yeah, kind of cool. It is neat. It's got bubbles all throughout it. I'll hang on to it. Yeah. All right. See you back. Guys, you can see it's real dark down in my hole, but check out what I just popped out here. A real nice, let me shine up in the air for you. There you go. A nice barrels Indian liniment AC carry blown in mold. Huh? A mug? Heck yeah. Corey's got a mug in the hole up there. You'll see his video clip here after this one, but there you go, guys.
speed on it. It's got something going on. Yeah, it does. That I thought cool. that was a little bit of damage. That's Check deep. this out, guys. So, I got a stein in the <laughs> hole. <laughs> this is my first ever stein. I'm going to go back here and grab it. It fell right down out of the hole it was in. You can see where it was jammed up in there. Oh, I'm going to reach back. And I'm going to grab it. Ah. Yeah, oh, that's so it's cool, full man. and it's got some cool stuff on it. I can already tell. It says something. Oh my gosh, what's it say? Ross. Oh wow. Oh my Dad, god. Gum, guys. Oh my gosh. What does it say? I'm so happy right what now. What does it say? Frostburg Mayor. I know, but what's the brewing company? Oh, it says my something. Brewing gosh, company. It, does. it says. The Frostburg, Frostburg Brewing, Brewing, Company. Brewing Company. Frostburg Brewing Company. Frostburg Oh, man. Oh, that is so gosh. cool. I don't cool. even know what to think right now. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Yes. Woo. Clean it up a little bit. Show the pictorial on I'm it. I'm scared to touch it with my skin. What's that say on it? Oh. That's uh, just the, the Frostburg. Frostburg. Yeah. The Frostburg Brewing Company. Oh, my gosh. What a stinking mug. Here's the other side of it. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah, brother. it really is. What a find. Same hole that it's got like come a, out a, of. a goose getting ready to attack that little boy. And his mama looks like she's going to smack it with the umbrella. Yeah, that is really, wow. really cool. Kind of looks like Riker James. <laughs> <laughs> Frostburg Brewing Company Beer Stein. That's neat, man. Wow. I Heck am, yeah, I am done digging for the night. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. See you back. All right, guys, we're back out here at the dump on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Got about five hours of light. We're going to get cranking on it. But we dug until dark yesterday, and I did not have a light. So I was just kind of undermining at the last minute, throwing stuff out. And then so I popped down in my hole just now and looked down. I was like, dang, that's a train. Look at that. So I must have threw this out last night, guys, but check it out. It isn't that wild. It's some kind of a train. Look, it has a wind-up mechanism on it. It's heavy. It's real heavy. That is really, really awesome. I've never, ever seen anything like it in my life. So that's a really, really cool find. Definitely an electrolysis tool. Yeah, definitely going to put that in electrolysis and bring it back. That's cool. I don't know what the key is, but the, the train is heavy. And then this weird-looking contraption i don't know if it was like a little mortar pestle or what exactly it was what but it's it like? it's made out of stoneware i think or porcelain let me see it that little jar thing oh that little yeah it's like a salve like a little yeah. salve like for uh counting money or something for a bank teller or maybe for a teacher grading the papers i'm telling you the more and more stuff we dig out of here i think it might have been a school an old school that either sat here or dumped here. There's a lot, a lot of children's stuff. But that's really neat. Just to start off with, haven't even put the shovel in my hand yet. See you back. Guys, the choo-choo train is bringing the goodies my way. Check it out. Got a nice little mason jar, almost ball blue in color don't think it has anything on it though just popped out this gorgeous green melampes all the green ones have the embossing all the embossing down here at the bottom look at that color on that thing just a gorgeous green soda local soda i'm knocking the top down because it's really really soft today you can see it's chunking off real nice there's a big old chunk i just ripped out Stuff's falling out of the ceiling. That melampy just fell out. This just fell out. 
I thought it was just a little flask and I picked it up and wiped it off my finger one time. Look at it. I took my gloves off just to be able to wipe it a little better to show you guys better detail on this, but wow. Look at that. That's a smaller. Did you get one? Yeah. Corey just popped a glo uh, H. Clay Glover's Mange Remedy right around 1906, 1910 era. Nice amber med. The layers there. Show me the layers. The vet can, med. You can really see the layers. And then I just pulled out this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, smaller. This is the smallest, the uh, smallest one of these that I've ever dug. This is the one pint. Half pint. It says, it says full half pint. Full half pint. P. Welty. Yeah, that's awesome right there out of Pittsburgh. Check that out. My brother James. What do you think, brother? Heck yeah. It looks to be in real good shape. It's got one little tiny ding right there, but... That's a gorgeous little whiskey. We're gonna keep on working at it. Corey wanted me to take you down here and show you the layers. You know, it's treacherous to try to come down here right now. Where he's working at. Pulled that gorgeous beer stein out right in there yesterday, right before dark. Probably the only one known from Frostburg, Maryland. Absolutely incredible. But you can see the different layers going down. You got ash and rust pretty much mixed in. Little tiny bit of lighter stuff down about the six, seven foot mark. You got anything showing? There's stuff coming out of all sections too. It's What's that behind that rust you just pulled out? Just a shard. Yeah, you never know where the next great find's gonna be. They're, they're all mixed in here, guys. And that's the joys of dump digging, really. You just got, you got to dig it all. Yep. So we just work our way in, layer by layer. You keep on trenching forward until we get to the end of the dump. Right now they're coming from deep. Which, uh, yeah, right now they're coming from deep. For me, they're coming from up high today. This just fell out of the ceiling. See you back. I'm just pulling along the bottom down here you can see i'm probably about six foot down six and a half foot I and mean, right underneath the shovel there's the bottom probably like another six inches down almost seven foot to the bottom where i'm at but uh i just pulled out pulled out a pittsburgh brewing right here move my finger and uh it's a real strange uh lens looking thing probably had a picture behind it but you can see down in the hole there. I just looked down in the hole. I got out of the hole to get a drink and looked back down. And there's a little cylinder med down in the hole. And it looks to me like an earlier Omega oil. I don't see label on this thing. Yeah. Let's see if we can save any of it. A little bit of the side of it. Some of the label still on there. That's really cool. Oh wow, there's a lot over here. I'm gonna let it dry up and try to save some of that label. That's a good bit of label on that. Some on the other side too. And what's crazy about that is here's the embossing. It says, does it say it's green or something? It says Omega oil, it's green. Really cool little bottle, the label on it. Awesome, get back to you. All right, guys, here's my progress. I'm down about eight, eight and a half feet from the top right there. You can see I'm still working in a nice light ash layer. It's real compact down there. Working right on the edge of our old trench that we dug last month. That's what's remaining of it. It's all filled in. But threw my shovel back here and I noticed a bottle after I let go of the dirt. And check it out it has a label on the back side of it and i flipped it over for just a second and seen something virginia so i turned it right back over and we're gonna see what it is live together but check that out you can see a label still on it label going around the back side of it that's really neat and then the 
Let's see what we got here. That's really, really cool. It says, Shuri? Or slurry? Slurry. No, Shuri. Yeah, Shuri. Is that how you spell Sherry, maybe? Shuri? Sherry and Brown Browers or Browse? No, Browns. Sherry and Browns. It says Arnica Cream. Arnica Cream Company Incorporated, Roanoke, Virginia. What in the world, guys? Sherry and Browns Arnica Cream. Roanoke, Virginia. Yeah! That is so freaking neat. The label don't look like it's going to survive on there, but wow. That's a really, really cool druggist. See you back, guys. All right, I'm gonna do a little live dig here. At least I'm gonna try to. Um, the talk's getting a little unsteady, but I'm gonna try to dig these bottles out here for you. You can see I got a flask right here, some little druggist right here, and then I have some kind of some kind of pottery right here. So we're gonna hope that that pottery is something really cool. I'm going to pull it first because, oh gosh, it might be another mug. <laughs> little cream jar. Might be ready. Dang, it's, I think it's big. It's, yeah, I'm going to have to dig it more. It's not really wanting to move. What is this thing? I think it's something crazy again, guys. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, wow. Look at that. I've never... Are you seeing this, guys? I've never dug a full... A full um, figure, ever. This is pretty impressive. Wow. That is really cool, guys. I'm actually really happy about that. Look at that. I think it's a little Bo Peep. I don't know. Cool. Keep digging, though. Um, where did that druggist go? There it is. Pull the druggist. Ah, look at it. It's green. I think it's slick. But... It's a green druggist, like an apple green. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here's the flask. Come on, have a slug plate on it. No, no slug plate. Just a uh, warranted flask. But I guess I'll poke around for another couple of seconds here and see if I can get something else to show up. A lot of broken stuff under there. Oh, here's something. Ah, it's broke. Would have been real cool. There's a little man. Play Baltimore. Yep. Shattered under there. Like right here. I didn't even see it. Just a Sour's extract. One of the big embossed ones. Side embossed. And for the last pool, I'm going to bring these up here because I have something sticking out up here. I think it's just a uh, gin bottle, but we're going to hurry up because I can hear stuff falling. Yeah, look at that. Gordon's dry gin. 
Uh, all right, we'll get back to you. Check this here out. Trav has something in the hole. And at this point, neither one of us have any clue what it's this like a, is. It's like a pink tube. It's getting larger as it goes down a little bit. But it's it's long as crap. Like, I still don't feel the end of well, it. What in the world? I have no clue. I don't want to pry on it at all. I don't even know what it could be. What do you guys think that is? Can you see it real good? Yeah, I zoomed in on it. Let me see if it'll move. Is it solid? Shoo. Or is it hollow? I think it's hollow. <laughs> I think it's real freaking fragile. Man. I have no I'm clue what you to got. Death of it. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I don't even know how to tell you to dig it. I'll tell you what. I'm going to work on uncovering the whole thing, and then we'll see you back. All right, Trav's got it ready to come out. It's moving. It's huge. I don't know what this thing is. Here it comes, guys. <laughs> it's real exciting, though. What is that? Is it just some kind of big whimsy? It's just, yeah, it's a big whimsical tube. Dead it could have been a cane. It's too big. Look how freaking that is pink as pink gets. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Dang. What in the world? I have no clue what to think about that. Guys, what is that? It's big. It is beautiful. And nothing we've ever seen before. Heck, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See you back. Guys, you remember the license plate Corey dug in the last video? I think I have another one in the hole because of the little monogram on the back side of it. From Baltimore there. It's ready to come out. I've been working on it for a while. Oh, yeah, check that out. Oh, it's beautiful. 1913, baby. 13. Woo! Yellow and, yellow and blue. 4249, Maryland. That is really, really neat, guys. Check the color out on that dog log. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that same, nice. that same thing on the back of it, Corey. Something novelty. For advertising purpose, drawn and stamped with... Something from Baltimore, Maryland. That's real, real cool. Heck yeah. Check that out. Woo! See you back. Guys, I had something awesome just fall out of the hole down here. Chris stopped by to say hi and drop off some stuff for tomorrow's auction. But I'm going down in here to check out what I just dropped out. It's green. It's green. There it is. What in the world? What is this, guys? Look at that. The color on that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Oh, it's early, too. Serious no embossing on that? No. No embossing. Oh my gosh, look at the color on that though, guys. That is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful emerald green. I don't know. It's absolutely beautiful and early, but show it better at cleanup. See that?
Guys, check out this really cool bottle just popped out. It says Fowler's Pure Flavoring Extracts, Richmond, Virginia. Something about purity and cool monogram right there. Pretty neat uh, extract bottle though. See that? Check this out, guys. Down in the hole, working right off the bottom. And you can see, just raked out a little amber poison bottle. Yeah. One of the uh, single panels. Single panel poison there. I'll show it better out of the hole in a second. But we're going to stay live. And I'm just going to just lightly pick in here and see if there's anything full. There's a lot of broken stuff coming out at the moment. But you can see I'm right directly on the bottom, so hopefully there's some good full stuff. Maybe we can get something live to come out. There's a little bottle right here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera screen or not. Right there. There's a bottle in the hole, and then there's a piece of pottery or something broke beside it. Oh, there's something real pretty right there, guys. Check that out. I think it's an egg holder. Can you see that? Let me get a little bit. Egg holder in the hole. They're always broken, though, so let's see. Let's see. Together, what we got. Look at that, guys. Almost a full little dish or something. I ain't sure what that would have been. But let's get back over to this one for a minute. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Come. I think it's just a black cat. Yeah, black cat uh, polish company. Beating sandwich. Just raking right along the bottom there. Stuff's coming out here and there. There's that sweet little poison bottle right there for you. I'll get the camera to focus. Come on. There it is. Poison. Nice amber three sided poison bottle. Heck yeah. Gonna keep working at it, guys. See you back. Guys, it's starting to get a little dusk. We have about maybe 30 minutes of light left. And it looks like I have a Wyeth dosing bottle in the hole right there. You can kind of see it sticking out. Let's go ahead and see if she's ready to come out of there. Very slowly coming this way. There it is. Yeah. Nice. Check that out. John Wyeth dosing bottle nice cobalt just need to find the cap for it now but heck yeah it's been one heck of a day of digging it's going to be a great video this week and then this weekend we're heading up to uh, Pennsylvania to dig with our buddy James with the copper poppers and uh, hopefully that's going to go real good for us but there you go See you back. Guys, check this out. I'm just digging. It's almost dark. I got a light in here with me. And I got a one-quart milk bottle in the hole right there. Live action. Let's get it. Oh, man. It's in there good. It's got some stuff right on top of it. There she is. Oh, oh, it rolled out. There it is. There it is laying there. The bank's getting ready to come down. I'm going to grab it and run out of the hole. Let's go. Mmm. 
New Tri-State. New Tri-State Sanitary, you can see there. One quart. And then that cool, uh, check that out. That neat topper I dug, Pittsburgh Brewing Company. Very, very cool right there. But I'm just going to keep messing around for a couple more minutes until she finally collapses. All right.